Welcome to Big Data Pedia. Today we are going to discuss about Apache Airflow and one kind of operation is available that Spark Summit operator. Based on that, we are going to submit our Spark jobs. Already we have tested with the Bash operator how simply using the command line how we can submit the jobs in Airflow like that we have discussed in earlier. Now we will be using this operator, this Spark Summit operator, how we can efficiently submit our jobs. And uh, this uh, Spark Summit operator, we will be going to work with a standalone mode right now. So directly we will be going to that, our environment. Okay, I just sharing my agenda. Okay, this is the Spark Summit command that I have written. So here I just using to load the data from customer table to customer underscore test table. So both of them is available in MySQL only. I just read the data from customer table and going to be continuous injection with customer underscore test table with, with up and options. Okay. We will be check here. PDA. This is the database that I am using. Here I am using this both tables customer and customer underscore test. So customer table, I have few records. So those records I am going to inject into that customer underscore test. Right now it's an empty set. Now I am going to execute the uh, Spark code and via this I am going to inject the data into this customer test table. Okay, this is our flow. This is our written code. Okay, this is available in support and basic sub Spark submit. Hmm. Better we can see you like this. Okay, file is available here. So based on that, I'm going to execute it. So before starting it, I'm going to start my Airflow web service. Airflow web server. Okay, Airflow web server is started. And another one, Airflow, Airflow scheduler, I'm going to execute. Okay, so now Airflow, I've just started right now. We will be cross verified. So, default port number. I'm going to use it and 8080 it will be reflect the airflow DAX entirely. So what are the code that we have? Everything we can see here. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new project. Okay, start a project. I'm going to create a new file. Mm. big data underscore triple zero spot submit dot my okay this is the name that I'm going to create it right now okay so now I'm going to import my classes importing airflow classes and uh, okay this is enough import airflow and then from airflow dot models import DAG and from airflow dot models oh sorry contributions so contribute dot operators and Spark Summit operators available we are going to import it 
so that will be comes with capital letters so spark submit operator so we are going to submit our jobs via this spark submit operator into our DAG mode that is our plan first we will be creating a DAG Okay, DAG ID and uh, descriptions and start date and end date everything we need to provide. So we will be providing the respective arguments one by one right now. So DAG ID <coughs> equal to Big data underscore triple zero spark underscore submit. So, what are the file name I'm using? The same I'm going to provide it to the DAG ID for my references and schedule intervals. So, schedule interval I will be followed with mm, every one minute the job is going to be executed. So based on the cron tab, I'm using this. So five star means it will be executed on every one minute. And then schedule interval we will be provided. And we need to provide some argument as well will be check it out okay start date so start date is more than enough mm. okay airflow dot utils and we have dates options uh, we have something mr. guess Dates import a days ago. There's a one kind of function. Simply we can implement here. So dates dot. So I just mentioned with two days. Now DAG is ready, and then we will be going to create Spark Summit operator. So those Spark Summit operator, we need some configurations details. So we'll be create the Spark Summit operator right now. Spark submit underscore local. I'm going to execute it. So Spark Summit operator, I'm going to use it right now. So these are all the arguments we can provide. Eh? So application is required to us. And then connection ID. Mm. 
so this is a sam uh, local mode only we will be going to submit so this two is more enough okay we will check it out if needed we can provide and configurations so we will be including some configurations config details equal to so based on the key value pair I am going to provide config details so application ID and uh, connection ID we just provided So without configuration also we can work I guess. So we need to schedule our job code here. So just give you what are the spark submission you have to do it. This is the actual code is going to be work for you. Okay, basic spark submit dot pi. This is the code. Actually, our spark submit code. So that code we are going to use it in the applications. And then connection ID. So Spark default is uh, normally is available. We will be using Spark local as another one connection ID. I just created that connection ID. So we can see what are the uh, configuration I have provided. Airflow connections. Personal. So Spark local is a kind of connections I just created. So those connections I am going to use. It. So this Spark local is a kind of connections. It will be followed with local host and port number 4040. It will be going to be affected with local host 4040 only. So those connections I am going to provide here. So just copy and paste here without mistake anything in that spelling. And applications connection ID is both enough. This is a simple job only. And we'll follow with DAG also. DAG equal to DAG. So this is the variable I am going to submit into this box submit operator parameters. For the difference I just provide conf. Okay, for the parameter I am going to share the our configuration. So it will be going to be refer this DAG ID. This DAG ID will be execute every one minute and it will be start from two days ago. I just provided for this random. Okay. And Spark submit operator we will not be follow any downstream upstream right now we just execute this command whether it is working or not like that so this is a simple code I just written and we will be provided with some main program config dot CLI that's it so this CLI is going to be executed entirely this codes
I'm going to refresh and Spock Summit is available it exactly matched because already I my DAC folder I referred to this code only so directly while I'm creating it it will be referred here so something it will be mentioned broken DAC airflow demo triple zero uh, argument task ID is required so something we have Mr. task ID task ID okay applications configuration connections everything we just provided DAG ID we provided right now yeah here only is available so task ID submit jobs because this only will be show in that your DAG so that it will be required and graphy while you are going to see it this only will be showing to you okay that's it I guess I'll be going to refresh my uh, DAG flow now it is showing here so task ID is required it's not getting refresh I guess yeah this task ID is showing to you this is the base it will be asking the task ID yeah now it's realized so this is the task ID now I am going to trigger the job okay so job has been triggered and we'll follow what will be happen so here okay this is our sample code if job has been succeeded we can get the data from mysql table as well so still is running okay so we don't use multiple task only we will be using spark summit only so still it's running we can see all the logs and record details everything here okay job is still running and one more job is executed and it is in queue to 
because already in the first job we have triggered ourselves so second job it will be triggered based on the timing so every one minute it's going to be executed next to jobs okay so two jobs is running one is in queue and another one is is going to be succeeded here you can see this is the manual and another one is scheduled so external trigger it will be showing into the tick symbol yeah one job is completed the first external trigger is completed so job has been succeeded and re next one is still running so if it is going to be succeeded we will be getting the da data again so two times the data will be injected here we'll see and get the data so like this we can schedule our jobs yeah two job also is completed okay so data the same data is injected two times there are three records is available in from customer table I didn't provide any uh, filter conditions directly what our data is available you just fetch and insert into this customer test table like that our spark code we have written so same is happened so two times the data will be replicated Now we can see for that third continuous job executions. So close to 14.38, the third job will be created. Okay, so based on the time frame, it will be executed, I guess. So third job is started and it is running right now. Okay, so 1433 is a last run time. So based on that, it will be executed the next one. So from last run, it will be followed with scheduling timing. Still, it's executing.
third job is completed and uh, next job is, has been executed again now we just go and see the data now it will be inserted into three times so like this every one minute our job is going to be executed and those data will be inserted here okay that's it if you have any questions any doubts you just provide in that comments we will be follow that comments and reply back to you thank you